Hi, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in to my channel. Uh, I won't ramble on too much, but uh, I just want to give a big shout out before I start my um, vlog on uh, restoring this uh, GS1000 Suzuki. And that's to um, probably Australia's biggest fan of the Del Boy Motorcycle Channel, but more so probably the best channel um, there is on the internet um, about motorcycling, how to fix motorcycles, and for me, the foremost authority on um, restoring a GS1000. He's also a top bloke as well. He just uh, he did up an old uh, GS1000 that had just sort of issue after issue. Um, he went right through it, had, he pulled the motor apart. He just did all this and um, raised money for this old bloke who uh, owned the, 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 uh, the old GS1000G. So he's kind of like written the book on how to do up a GS1000. He's also um, probably the, you know, Australia's biggest fan of, um, of the legendary Del Boy channel. And we're talking about Andy's motorcycle obsession. And I personally have um, disabled my PayPal account just so people don't pay me but funnel all the money to uh, Andy's channel. In fact, just turn this channel off now and just go over to Andy's channel. Uh, this, is, this, this will be rubbish compared to what he's doing. But anyway, have a look if you're interested. Um, not a lot of stuff on GS1000s. So I've just bought this old one. Um, I'll go into it a bit more, but um, good work, Andy. Thanks for your uh, thanks for your brilliant brilliant series. Yeah, it's 42 years ago. Uh, God, it seems like yesterday, but I uh, I rode a very special motorcycle around Australia. It was probably the, one of the best trips I've ever had because every day is a new adventure when you're going around Australia. It's just uh, it's amazing. I was 20 odd, now I'm like 60 odd. And uh, yeah. Kind of always wanted one of these bikes again, and uh, I finally found the exact model, uh, the exact color that I had all those years ago, and I'll be restoring it. So uh, let's have a look, bit of an initial look at it. I've just got it home. So I've had a bit of rain lately, and. Uh, been so wet. So here she is. Oops. Ta -da! It's the world's most powerful motorcycle in 1978 and uh, the winner of the Castrol 6 Hour, um, the uh, original GS1000. And uh, this one's got a neat history. Um, it's been in a shed for like 20 odd years um, and uh, it's uh, in really good condition generally but it needs a fair bit of work so uh, I'm just going to sort of start working out what I need do, doing to it but um, it needs obviously some rust cut out along the tank here but uh, overall um, I'm pretty happy with its condition and its originality so uh, on the way home I just uh, Gave it a bit of an alloy clean. All this was pretty mucky from the rust dripping on the fins. And uh, so uh, I'll uh, be get going through some steps anyway to fix it up. And I'll just do a bit of a series, a bit of a, a vlog on it. So because the bike's been sitting for 20 odd years, I just want to um, spray it over with some WD-40. And uh, that'll just make any, any sort of nuts and bolts easy to get undone. The first thing I'm going to do before I start it, or try to start it, is to uh, go through a series of checks and uh, I'll take the battery out. Oh dear, spider webs. And they look like uh, redback spider web webs too. Anyway, uh, so I'll be taking the battery out and giving it a charge and just uh, cleaning up around the carbies as well to see what's going on there. Okay, we'll get this air filter out. Oh yeah, doesn't look too bad. And a closer inspection reveals a couple of uh, deceased arachnids in sector A14. Ah, it's a Katana battery, so uh, that should add about a, oh, a good 15 k's on the top speed of this bike. That's good. And I'll just have a look in there. 
doesn't look too bad actually I might uh, just top it up with a bit of a uh, bit of acid and uh, yeah just uh, put a bit of life into it again <laughs> it's probably got some muck in the carvies because there's got a bit of rust in the tank or it's had rust in the tank and uh, still needs a bit of repair there but I'll get on to that but initially I see it needs uh, you know for restoration aesthetically uh, re-chroming the front guard and re-chroming the uh, starter motor cover just polishing up those shocks and uh, just generally sort of uh, tidying up sort of uh, putting new cables on cleaning all this sort of stuff up and uh, looks like it needs a new chain a new sprocket kit and uh, here's the rust I was talking about in the tank they're very thin these tanks these Suzuki tanks and they uh, tend to rust out so I'll be uh, sourcing a place to get that done anyone who knows uh, a really good place in New South Wales that does good rust repairs on tanks I'd be uh, really thankful for that and uh, obviously it needs some new tyres I think they're probably still legal though and uh, I'll be getting rid of these clip-ons as well I mean I was too old for clip-ons when I was 20 let alone 60 so uh, luckily I've got the um, original bars and the original clamps so I'll be putting those on that'll be one of the first things I do so uh, yeah it's uh, gonna polish up all right I'm just gonna polish all this uh, alloy up and uh, repaint the side covers just generally go over it obviously it needs the seat repaired and uh, I'm sure I'll find other things too before I get deep into the mechanical stuff okay the next step I'm just going to be uh, undoing the uh, tank and taking it off and giving it a bit of a swish out just to make sure that uh, there's no junk in there see if there's a filter on the inline and uh, see what's happening there before I start it okay well there's, uh, these are the uh, fuel gauge lines uh, the wires uh, there's a black and white one and a yellow and uh, black one just disconnect those and uh, the next stage will be to disconnect the uh, fuel line yeah this this fuel looks sort of that no, just doesn't look fresh to me so putting some new fuel in there will be good you can see a few little floaty things in there anyway you can uh, soon uh, put some fresh fuel in there that'll be good Okay, well I'm just going to drain the carbies off and just, uh, just sort of get rid of any uh, low-level muck Just give it a bit of a spray out with some carby cleaner This is uh, not to replace a complete strip down but uh, this is just to sort of get rid of any sort of uh, evil muck that might be lurking in the bottom there okay well some of these little buggers were hard to get out so uh, I have to uh, bring in a bit of uh, bring in the cavalry bring in an impact wrench impact wrench and uh, just give a bit of a tap and uh, I've loosened them all and uh, they're all coming out we're well, looking into the tank uh, I can see that it's had uh, a tank sealer treatment in it and flipping it over it's not too bad under there there's a little bit of plastic filler there um, but overall it's um, it's not too bad but I'd like to get this professionally uh, welded up just so it's completely good the other side's excellent so it's just got water on one side while it's probably sitting there for 20 years okay well I've just poured some juice in there or petrol or gas or whatever you want to call the stuff and uh, and I've just left the, uh, <coughs> the four nuts the four little bolts that uh, the drain plug bolts out and just to let it flush through flush all that uh, carb cleaner and stuff through so uh, now I'll just put those bolts back okay well the moment of truth chuck a bit of choke on I know they like a bit of choke to start up with Yo. oh yeah what a nice sound
Okay, well all that smoke you can see pouring off it, um, that's just from the WD-40 that I uh, put on there, so it's just burning off. But um, it's a nice sounding motor this one, having had one before, I know what they sound like. And uh, very quiet, I mean they've got these megaphones on there, I mean they're going to go. What a beautiful machine. So happy that uh, it's just going so well at this stage. Haven't done anything to the car because it's have to give them a bit of that initial clean up. Very happy. So uh, I'll just warm it up and uh, I'll drop the oil out of it. <laughs> 